Welcome to another edition of Question and Answer with a Criminal Defense Attorney. I'm Mark Solomon, a defense attorney in Denver, Colorado, and today's question is a follow-up on assault. But don't forget to click like on this video if you're enjoying it, and subscribe with a little bell next to it to be notified of future videos. What conduct is charged as assault? So, you should um, look at the video that I did yesterday, which describes a lot of these terms, things like knowing and reckless, um, things like bodily injury, serious bodily injury, intentional conduct. Um, all of those are in the other video, so you should watch that one before, before going on with this one. So, let's talk about the answer to this. So, misdemeanors, generally, as a recap, misdemeanor is a knowing or reckless use of force. It's up to 20, um, 24 months of jail. Um, it has to cause bodily injury, um, which I'm going to talk about in a second. A felony assault is knowing or reckless um, or intentional use of force, or, which either causes serious bodily injury or uses a deadly weapon. Um, for the strangulation, it's two to eight years possible in DOC, five to 16 for causing serious bodily injury or use of a deadly weapon. And intentional, um, intentional infliction of serious bodily injury with a deadly weapon, that's the minim mandatory minimum 12 to 24. That's our recap. So let's get to the actual answer to the question today. What sort of things um, can cause you to be charged with this stuff? Um, my favorite example of what rises to the level of an assault um, as compared to harassment is if somebody punches or slaps you or, or subjects you to some sort of physical force and it does not cause pain or any kind of injury whatsoever, um, that's probably at best harassment, um, which is a class three misdemeanor, fairly low level misdemeanor. On the other hand, if somebody punches or slaps uh, another person, kicks them, whatever, and, and, and that other person exhibits it's some sort of pain. Police officers will always ask, um, did it hurt? Um, did it cause you any pain? Um, they always like to ask that question, put it in the report, because if the answer is yes, that's a misdemeanor assault um, at the minimum, the class one misdemeanor. Uh, so if same conduct, that punch, slap, kick, shove, whatever, um, causes a fracture or some other sort of serious bodily injury, that just rose to the level of a class four felony. It's a felony assault at that point. Um, so that's a fairly significant jump. It's still not mandatory minimum prison um, yet. We'll get to that in a second, but it is still now a felony. If you strangle somebody, um, used to be charged as hands as weapons, nowadays there's an actual uh, statute, there's a section in the statute for uh, strangulation. That's the two to eight years. So in other words, if you um, block somebody's nose or mouth, um, put your hands around their neck, or somehow um, limit blood or air to their head, um, I've even done cases where somebody has put their knee on their upper chest and the person said they couldn't breathe. And that's, that was enough to be charged with the felony assault for strangulation. Uh, let's see. So the next part of it is if you use a deadly weapon, which in Colorado is by statute a gun or a knife, but it could be anything fashioned or used as a deadly weapon. So in other words, um, you know, a pen, if you stab somebody in the neck with a pen, that's a deadly weapon, you'll be charged with a felony assault because of that. Um, in that particular case, it would probably also qualify under the serious, um, serious injury or substantial risk of death. Um, and at the very least, it could qualify as an attempt. And we'll get to that in another, another uh, video too. So... When you look at intentional um, intentional types of assaults, those are the higher of the level felony assaults. The highest level felony assault is assault one, and that's what is required. The intentional um, uh, the intention to cause the serious bodily injury through the use of a deadly weapon. So if you yell, you know, I'm going to break your arm, and then hit somebody with a baseball bat, and it does break their arm, that's a assault first degree for intending to cause serious bodily injury and in this particular case a baseball bat would be considered a deadly weapon because it was being used as one um, you know one slip you hit the head that's that's a deadly weapon so that um, should clear up some of the technicalities that we addressed in yesterday's video yesterday's video um, and again you should look look to the see that one if you haven't seen it yet because this video builds on that one 
And that one, we talked a lot about terms here. We sort of put into practice what actually um, gets charged with that conduct. So that is the question and answer for today. If you would like your own question, you can always, uh, excuse me, if you would like your own question um, addressed on a future video, you can always put it in the comments below, email it to me or tag me on Twitter. And as always, you have a right to remain silent. If a police officer asks you, what you've done, what you have, where you've been, or what you know, you always have a right to say, I don't want to talk to you. And that if they persist, um, you should always say, I want a lawyer.